Good thing Polly's wearing goggles. If she weren't, and this paint were a chemical splash, her eyes would be seriously harmed. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how different kinds of eyewear protect your eyes from splashes in the lab, and what happens when our polystyrene assistant gets a face full of chemicals from a lab mate. Me, Manny Marone. When you're working in a wet chemistry lab, there's a lot of protective eyewear to choose from, but which one you choose can have a major impact on your eyes. To see which type of eyewear is likely to protect you best from chemical splatters, we suited up to fling some paint. Now there's a man who's ready to pitch some pigment. Since it would be a safety hazard to actually use corrosive chemicals for this demonstration, we subbed in watered down craft paint. Then we simulated a series of lab accidents. I'm sorry! Now let's see what everyday eyeglasses do for you. This is nothing against you. These are safety glasses with side shields, the kind you might find in big bins in a lab. And last, here are some chemical splash goggles. They're vented, so they don't fog up, but the vents are S-shaped, so there's not a direct pathway for liquid to leak inside. Indirect venting lets air flow through the goggles, and that keeps them from fogging up. But it does that without providing a direct path for liquid and particles to reach your eyes. These goggles, for example, feature what's called an S-shaped vent. It's the last one, I promise. Let's look at the results. With no eye protection, Polly's leaving herself wide open to potentially damaging chemical splashes. This result shouldn't be a surprise. Eyeglasses were a little better than nothing, but not by much. They really don't fully protect your eyes from chemical splashes. Side shield safety glasses may protect against flying debris, but as you can see, paint still dripped down Polly's forehead into her eyes. The best protection came from goggles that form a seal with your face, like these indirectly vented splash goggles. But note what I said before about indirectly vented goggles. Theoretically, liquid isn't supposed to get through the vents. As you can see though with this pair, a bit of paint did make it inside Polly's goggles. This is probably because Polly's head is a little smaller than average and covered in rigid polystyrene rather than skin. Once again, Polly shows us why it's important to have goggles that fit well. The final verdict? Chemical splash goggles are your best bet in most labs for keeping your eyes safe, but they only work if they fit well and you keep them on your face. And please let Polly be your guide and remember, eyeglasses do not equal goggles. If you want to learn more about splash goggles, check out a product comparison in CNEN to see our picks for comfort and functionality. We'll post the link in this video's description. And if you have other lab equipment or product comparisons you'd like to see, tell us in the comments, and we might feature them in a future video.